How to use easy interactive tools in whiteboard mode. You can use the whiteboard mode within easy interactive tools to create a digital dry erase board where you can write and draw, add, delete and manage pages, insert images from files on your computer or an attached document camera. To access whiteboard mode, click on the whiteboard icon in the command toolbar of easy interactive tools. A plain white page will appear. At the top of the whiteboard page are several icons you can use to create a new file. Open an existing file, save a file, add, copy, delete, and manage the pages in your file. Page up and down. Access settings within easy interactive tools or access a connected Epson document camera. To add pages, simply click on the page icon with the plus on it. As you do, you will see pages being added to the sorter to the left. If you wish to reorder your slides, you may do so by dragging and dropping them. First, let's number each page. One, two, three. Now that the pages are numbered, we can show how to change the sequence. Click on slide three. Once you have selected it, drag it and move it to the number one position. Once you have moved it, let go of the click to see the page placed in its new position. If you do not wish to show the page sorter, you can close it by selecting the red X at the upper right of the sorter. If you wish to make it reappear, click on the page sorter icon. If you wish to lock the sorter to display all the time, click on the key icon until it appears at a tilted 45 degree angle. If you do not want it to display all the time, Click the key icon so that it appears flat, in a horizontal state. When set like this, the slide sorter will disappear whenever you draw, but can become visible again by selecting the page list icon at the top of the page. If you have multiple pages and choose not to use the page list display, you can still move forward and backward within your slides by using the up-down arrows on the top toolbar. To advance a page, click on the down arrow. To move backwards through the slides, click on the up arrow icon. When you are done working with a file, you can save it to your computer's hard drive. You do this by clicking on the save icon. This will open the on-screen keyboard and a dialog box for naming the file. Use the keyboard to name the file and then select save. The file is now saved to your computer's hard drive, where it can be reopened and used again. To open an existing file, simply click on the open icon, which will open a dialog box for the location where you have saved your interactive files. Select the file and open.